Hey guys, what's up? This is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo. Today we're checking out the Moto X. Just picked it up. I have an AT&T version. I have not opened the box yet, so we'll go through it together. Designed and assembled in the United States. Motorola made real specific about that, that it's assembled here, not necessarily manufactured here. That'll happen in Texas. You got the Moto X, the charger, cable, SIM removal tool, and quick guides. But we'll, let's go through. You want to see the phone, right? So here it is. We'll go through that in just a second. As you can see, probably from this, it's the AT&T model. You'll be able to customize it. But right now, and what happens is you'll be able to order it uh, from these stores direct in black or white. Now, if you want to use the Moto Maker tool, I'll discuss that in a second. You'll have to use the website and... That's only limited to AT&T at launch, but real quick, let's go through the box. This little, let's get started guide. It's like other stuff, let's get all the stuff out of the way. Okay, so it comes with the charger. I assume that's the SIM removal tool. It is, the SIM removal tool. It uses a nano SIM, and then the wall ward here. So let's actually get to the device itself. Okay, so you've got the 10 megapixel camera on the back. On the right, you have the power button and the volume keys. You can see the contour here. It's rounded. See that sort of slopes? The bottom, you've got the micro USB charger. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top. And there's the nano SIM tray on the left. Now, with the Droid devices, the SIM tray was with the volume keys. That's not the case here. And when you can customize this phone, that's a 2 megapixel camera up front, sorry, and we're looking at a uh, 4.7 inch 720p display. You can see, you can, you can hardly see the borders right now. In any case, when you customize this phone through Moto Maker, and again, that's exclusive through AT&T at launch, though this is coming to Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, and US Cellular as well, you'll be able to change these accents, the volume keys here, this metal border running around the 10 megapixel camera, that's an accent as well. There's, uh, I believe, seven different choices for that, and then 16 different colors for this back plate. And there's a bunch of customization options. Let's turn it on now. You can watch this boot. This is going to run Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. I asked about 4.3. Motorola said they actually don't work that closely with Google, even though it's owned by Google. Uh, that they've kept the, the software customizations relatively low so that hopefully uh, you'll be able to get through uh, to Android 4.3 quicker than you would with other devices. All right, let's see here. Start. Except, I don't want to do this now. Not now. All right, let's go. You can migrate all your stuff over, it looks like. We don't care about this. Not right now, right? Okay. Okay, so here's your home screen. Again, that's a 720p display, 4.7 inches. You can see how it nicely runs edge to edge there. There we go, a little better in focus for you. Um, this device is going to launch with 16 gigabytes of storage or 32. Now, 16 is going to cost you 199. 32 will cost you 249. And the problem with that is 32 is going to be available, they said, with AT&T first. And this is relatively uh, mid-range specs for that price range. The one, for example, or the S4 has a Snapdragon 600 processor. This has a 1.7 gigahertz dual-core Snapdragon S4 Pro chip. Um, 2 gigs of RAM is nice, but when you're considering the faster processor, not necessarily clock speed, but the more powerful clock, uh, processors than the other high-end phones, uh, the price is a little high, I think. I think this could have come in at $99. In any case, let's see what we have for storage on this uh, review unit here. Okay, so 11 gigs total space remaining, so that means we have a 16 gigabyte unit. Now there's some neat uh, features here, so let's turn this off and do a little screwdriver shake, they tell us. Okay. Now we're automatically in the camera app. So you can always just pull it out of your pocket and jump right into the camera by doing that screwdriver shake. Let's show that again. Just a quick blah blah blah. Not that time, huh? Uh, looks like we're on the. Let's try it again. You have to do it at least twice. Alright, there we go. I felt the buzz and now the camera's open. So that's neat. 10 megapixel camera. Ah. So many options here. Okay, now you can quickly take pictures. Motorola said they spent a lot of time on the autofocus software here. So um, let's pull this aside and then you get the manual controls 
if you want to dig a little bit deeper. But they told us that a lot of the feedback was actually that people didn't want to deal with all that. They want that autofocus out of the box. Now we should be able to say at certain points, I don't think this is going to work with me right now, but we should say, okay, Google now. It's not going to work, so maybe we can set that up. So you can get phone calls, make directions, set reminders. We know all that, but you can do this hands-free. I haven't set it up yet with my voice, and I'll have John do it. John will do it when he does the uh, review and some more hands-on things. But basically, you could be in your car across the room and say, OK, Google, now. It'll pop up and listen to your voice and respond to it with the search query that you offer. We saw that on the, uh, the original, let's see, the Droid Max, the new Droid uh, Ultra, and the Droid Mini all offer that, too. So really similar. Um, under the hood, I should, I should mention, this has a 2200 milliamp hour battery. You see that curved design to the top? Motorola says they built the battery specifically to take advantage of that space, and they created the curve in the first place because they said they wanted a phone that's easy to hold. And it indeed is. And you can actually easily reach across the screen. I really like how it runs edge to edge um, as well. No bloatware installed on here either, okay? So you get my at and but that's about it. Quick Office, that's not really bloatware. Migrate, that's used to actually pull over your settings from another phone. Okay, so in any case, you can see this is a really relatively simple device. You're on at and T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, US Cellular. Again, 199 at launch for the 16 gigabyte option. Really, it's about customization. So Motorola is making the big bet that people want to you know, customize the back of the phone, the accents, and other features, and then take advantage of those hands-free controls that we'll show you in later videos. Overall, I really, really like this device. I know it doesn't have the most high-end specs, but right now I think it's really cool that, you, you know, you get a bright, brilliant screen here you can control with one hand. Um, you get to customize the device. I kind of like the red ones, and I, I wanted to change the accent colors. Maybe get some blue anodized aluminum uh, volume keys. That's what you're paying for. And, you know, it's not for everybody. I think a lot of people, power users especially, are going to look for the Snapdragon 600 power devices. Maybe hold out for Snapdragon 800 devices. But overall, nice phone. Moto X. Uh, look forward to bringing you a full review, and we'll bring you uh, plenty more coverage in the future. This is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo. What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.